Hey guys, how you doing? Alright, this is going to be a video response for El Marshall. El Marshall is a buddy of mine. Uh, basically what I've seen him do is uh, sometimes he does his blades and he forgets to put the jimping in. Uh, normally he uses a, a round file and as a lot of people know, once you put it through heat treat, it's no longer a viable option to try to you know get the holes in there just because the the way to steel is it's not soft anymore and you will burn through files you will mess up files uh, the only way that I've learned to put jimping or choils or any other thing after heat treatment is by machinery alright um, it's the easiest way that I know how it's not the only way uh, I'm not an expert in uh, hardened steels, uh, but as a knife maker you have to figure out things that work for you. And this happens to work for me. Uh, this is one of my production models. This is the uh, Mosquito, as a lot of you guys know. Alright, it is heat treated, okay? You can tell by the bluing and by that sound. When it sounds like glass, uh, skipping across glass, then you know that it's heat treated. Uh, this is about a Rockwell hardness, about 5860. And now, let's say, oh crap, I decided I wanted to put some jimping in this, all right? There's only a couple ways I know how. One is uh, by a Dremel. Uh, you can get a Dremel. Uh, they're not that expensive, but you will have to get a stone bit. Uh, because I don't know if carbide, carbide might work, but carbide might be a little bit too hot. Um, so what I try to do is use either sandpapers or you see that right there? That's a stone bit right there. Dremels are not really that expensive. They're only about $40, $50 if you don't get the kit. Uh, I find that stones and abrasives work better uh, than any type of carbide on heat treated. When it's not heat treated, use whatever the hell you want. Uh, but with, sometimes carbide bits, they tend to, to make too much heat. And what we want is low heat, but maximum cut when it comes to this type of deal. So the the belts that I have are all made for steel and what we're going to do is I'm going to use the uh, belt method because not everybody owns a Dremel and uh, you know if you have a Dremel it's just very simple you just get a Dremel keep this wet and just you know use a Dremel zip 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 all the way down until you get to the res desired relief or the desired hole that you want on there uh, those stone bits come in many different shapes and forms and you can find them all over eBay or uh, wherever, but I just want to save him some headache. So an easy way I've done this now You're not going to get a round Bit out of this. All right, you're not going to get a round jimping Basically, you're going to get squared jimping if you're going to use the belt sander and you can use a 1 by 30 belt sander Everything's the same as long as you have a belt that's made for steel as long as you have a cooling uh, bucket water that I use and as long as you go slow you'll be able to put jimping on there all right so now I have a variable speed if you don't have a variable speed it's not a big deal just don't stress out just go slow do the best you can and remember you slow is where it's at you don't want to push into it because you're going to burn it so I'll start a little bit slow I have to mark out where I kind of want my jimping and usually I just grab it and I know where my thumb is and that's usually where I want my jimping. So I'm going to use the edge, the corner belt, to make a first cut. It's not always easy. kind of want to get it at like a 30 degree angle as straight as you possibly can. All right. See that right there? That's just by going really slow. And then what I'll do is I'll flip it around the other way using the same corner to try to get that bevel in there. Sometimes I'll go to the other side and all you're really doing is straightening it out. Now obviously the better the belt, the better the cuts. You also want to have a very keen eye Maybe adjust your, your slide over a little bit. Because what you're doing is you're cutting steel. Hold it back a little bit. You're using the edge of the belt to cut what you want you didn't want to do by hand or what you can't do by hand. Alright? 
Just use the whole side of the belt. Sometimes it's a little bit of a tracking problem. Go from one side to the next. Go slow. I'm using about 120 grit belt. Not super aggressive, but it works. All right, 30 degree angle. All I'm doing is making corners. Once you start to see it forming, what you want to do is get that angle. Make sure you got that angle. All right, now, not every platen is going to be straight. Not every piece that comes back from heat treat is going to be straight. Um, so you might have to flip the blade over to get it where you want it to go. You might have to change belts. This takes a lot of patience. Okay. So now you see I rough cut it, right? So now I'm going to clean it up. Be careful, you don't want to take too much off. I just want to get it to where I can show you what I'm doing here. All right, nice and wet. And then I'm going to clean it up a little bit more because I want to show you guys how beautiful it's going to look. This part I could speed it up a little bit. Just trying to clean it up so you get the idea. What I use a magnet on my heat treated blades. Gets it done a hell of a lot quicker. Keep it wet. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Alright. There you go. Now it will take a little bit of practice to get used to digging in with a belt or the corner of the belt. But what I was trying to show you guys is that it very easily can be done. Uh, you just need to practice a little bit. Um, you know, obviously not everybody's going to have the same type of gear as me. But what you want is nice universal jimping. Uh, you know, squares, you could use the belt. With rounds, you're going to have to use uh, something like a Dremel to get the rounds in there. All right, so, and this is a perfectly heat treated blade, and I was able to cut some, some jimping in there. All right. Oh, and by the way, this is this blade will be for sale once I clean it up. So now it's uh, the L. Marshall jimping. Don't worry, I'm not going to you know charge you guys anything more but uh since he won one of these in the prize i figured i'd use another one so uh once i clean this up it'll be for sale no extra no extra charge bro <laughs> no extra charge i'm just happy to show you guys uh you know this is what it's all about sharing the knowledge sharing your techniques uh you know 
Brothers of Steel, that's what it's all about. So if you do have a heat treated blade and you forget to put jimping in, you can put jimping in with something as simple as a belt sander, um, a Dremel, anything like that. Uh, you just gotta go slow, keep it wet. Don't push too hard, don't be over aggressive. Little tiny cuts, go left, Go right, go left, go right. Flip the blade over, go left, go right. And then when you're done with that, nice flat. Make it on a nice flat, straight up and down. See where your grooves are and you should have no problem doing it. All right guys, hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys learned something. 3 out.